started my work in the northeast province of Kenya in a Muslim community, working with Muslim community in terms of trying to find resolution to our internal conflict, which was ethnic-based, but also political in terms of contesting state uh, structures. But the, the thing that I would like to share with you is, if you start your work in a context-specific area within your own community, but living in a state where you live with other faith communities, with, with Christians of diverse uh, institutions, with uh, Hindu, with Jewish, with African traditional religion, does your local experience have relevance for other parts of the country? Does it have relevance for other faith communities? How do you transfer what you learned in your own community to other, to other communities? This was a challenge that came to me in 2008, after the post-election violence in Kenya, which was a sort of a political tsunami that completely blew up our country at that time. And in the Rift Valley pro province, our Christian communities who are affected by the post-election violence were really struggling in terms of how do we engage. You know, when, when the conflict happens to your own community, there's this issue of shock. There's this issue of inability to act because it is happening in your own community, the, the blockages. And I was requested by the, the Catholic Church to bring an Islamic perspective to the Rift Valley province of Kenya. So I traveled to the, to the Rift Valley province, to uh, a Catholic community, both lay and uh, a religious community, men and women, and uh, coming to them and trying to share peace building from an Islamic perspective, peace building from the north, from a pastoral perspective to a farming community. And looking at that, uh, I would like to share with you some of the evaluations, what came. Uh, the reality was when I arrived, they were not seeing a professional peace builder, a trainer who was coming to them. They were seeing a Muslim woman. They were just seeing a woman. So, and they were like, what is she going to teach us? She's from the north. She's a pastoralist. You know, these are just warlike people. So, but later on in the evaluation, they sort of said, Deka, you are teaching us your scripture, what Islam means to you in terms of peace building framework. And you are forcing us to think of our own faith, to rethink in terms of our own strategies. That forced us to really look inward by looking outward you really forced us to look. And the women uh, in the Catholic Church who were there, who are earlier sort of seated in the periphery behind quietly, the sisters and the lay women, came in the front saying that our trainer, our teacher is a woman, a Muslim woman, so we can do it. And, and the, 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 the dynamics changed in the three days I was there with them in the Rift Valley, and in a small way, and blocked them emotionally to re-engage in their own context. Not just looking at their own scriptures, but looking at a different scripture, but re-looking back at in their own. So sometimes what it requires is that we always think that we have to do our, we, we have to stick with our own, but sometimes the learning comes by engaging with the other, with the other context, with the other scriptures. Thank you very much.